Hi everyone! Today I'm going to introduce you to the Pro Show Music Library. As we take a look at the library, I'll be using Pro Show Gold, but everything you see will be the same in Pro Show Producer. Now before we get started, the very first thing you need to take note of is that ProShow must be connected to the internet in order to access the music library. Now here we have a show that needs some music. So up here in the toolbar, let's click this music library icon. The very first time you open the music library, you'll be asked to review and agree to the usage terms. These are the basic do's and don'ts of how tracks may be used when making and sharing shows. If you're unsure about what you read here, or if you have any questions, please contact Photodex Customer Support. Once open, you'll find a large variety of songs and sound effects that you can use in your shows. On the left side of the window, you'll find these filter tabs. As you try different filters, the track list will update over here on the right. Click the filter tabs to show top picks and new arrivals, to show tracks that feature vocals, or browse by tempo, genre, or song length. A very useful option is to browse by category or occasion. This allows you to quickly find tracks that fit the theme or story you're telling with your show. As you browse through the library, you can also listen to a preview of each track. Simply click the play icon that appears as you move your mouse over the track thumbnail. This will open a preview window and play a sample automatically. Once you find the song you want to use, the next step is to add it to your show. Select the song you wish to add, then click the Add to Show button at the bottom of the window. ProShow will then download the track from the music library and add it directly to your show soundtrack. From this point on, the track will be treated exactly the same as any other song you may have added from your computer. You can use the timeline view, or double click on the soundtrack bar to access the audio editing tools. In show options, you can add more songs from the library by clicking the add icon in the soundtrack list and choosing select from music library. If you're making a show using the ProShow Wizard, simply click the Music Library icon in the Wizard toolbar. Next, let's take a look at some of the organizational tools you'll find in the Music Library. At the bottom of each track thumbnail, you'll see this cloud icon. This lets you know that the track has not been downloaded to your computer yet. When you select a track that features this icon, Keep in mind that it will take a few moments for the song to be downloaded before it's added to your show. Now once a track has been downloaded, the cloud icon will no longer appear, even if you move on to a different show. The next time you use that track, you'll still access it through the music library, only you won't need to download it again. At the bottom of the window, you'll find the usage terms for music library tracks. This is the same notice you saw the very first time you opened the music library. Click here to review the basic do's and don'ts of how tracks may be used when making and sharing shows. Next you have the refresh button. When clicked, this will tell ProShow to check for music library updates. Updates occur periodically and may include new filter options such as a new top picks list or additional tracks. To the right of these buttons, You'll see the total number and length of all tracks you currently have selected. You'll also find a notice listing the number of selected tracks that need to be downloaded. If you find yourself using certain tracks often, within the music library, you can mark those tracks as favorites. Simply click the star icon at the bottom of the track thumbnail. When marked as a favorite, this star will be blue. At the top of the filters list in the special selections area, you'll find a tab for favorites. 
Use this tab to quickly filter the list to show only your favorite selections. Keep in mind, this tab is only visible when you have favorites. You can also use music library tracks as slide sounds. This is a great way to add sound effects to your slides. Double click on a slide to open the slide options window, then click the slide sound tab. To the right of the preview in the slide sound area, click the browse button and choose select from music library. Now find a song or choose a sound effect for this slide and click the Add button. Once added, you can use all the normal sound timing, editing, and volume options to customize the sound to fit your slide. Let's wrap up this lesson with a quick review and some additional notes about using the music library. Remember that in order to access the music library, your computer must be connected to the internet. Tracks from the library work just like any other music you add to a show. You can add multiple songs, you can trim the tracks, adjust fade times, and use library tracks as a part of your soundtrack or as slide sounds. If you're a slideshow creator or photographer, you can sell shows to your clients featuring tracks from the music library. Keep in mind though, when posted on sites like YouTube, advertising may still appear on or before your videos. Finally, music library tracks are downloaded to your computer. However, you won't be able to transfer, edit, or even play them outside of ProShow. If you collect show files or create slide styles and templates that feature library tracks, when you transfer your work, you'll need to download the tracks again on the destination computer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our blog and check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.